it's exciting. My mother is putting up the tree and the decorations at home, and I think it has went, it was red last year. I think most of the house is covered in green this year. So yeah, it's different. It's not your traditional lead into a, an All Ireland final this time of the year, but at the end of the day, it's still just a game of hurling that you're going out to win, and hopefully at the end of it, you have a cup with you. It's not something that went into my mind about how successful we have been this year. Um, maybe it's something that we look back on in a couple of weeks' time when we sit back and, and, and remember and think back on the year. But at, at the moment, we have a job to do, and that's the next game, and that's to win the next game. Now Stephen Bennett, they need a goal. Here is Stephen Bennett. He was, oh, Bennett's got it! It was great to get a win over Kilkenny the last day. Such a quality team, and I think we tr showed uh, some battling qualities ourselves. Here's a goal-scoring opportunity. Goal! It's Dara Lyons! We probably were a bit frustrated at halftime with our own performance in the first half, and uh, we just wanted to go out in the second half and show show what we were capable of. Look, it was great to get a win, and we showed some really uh, good character, I suppose. This is a strong run by Lyons, and Lyons finds the back of the net, and Waterford get the game's first goal. Initially, when they played with Cork, I think a lot of the attention was how maybe poor Cork were, and none of the attention was how good maybe Waterford were on the day. And I think when we played them in the Monster Final, we were under no illusion how good a team Waterford are. And they have very good players that can, they have the capacity to influence a game. Um, and that will be the case this, this weekend. And I suppose, again, the attention will be that, and, and the narrative will be that Waterford are underdogs and stuff, but they're not in an All Ireland final and after beating top teams to get there um, for no reason. We're happy to be there, but there's nothing won yet. We're enjoying our hurling, really, is, is the main thing, and we're, we're a tight group that are happy to work hard for each other. They pose a different threat than other teams would do in a sense that they carry the ball very well, they're very good in the air, and they take the ball into tackles and that asks the question of, of, of backs at times. And it, 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 it ensures that you have to be more measured in your approach to tackling. So that is a, is a, is a threat and something that you have to consider um, to not give away silly fouls and cynical fouls that with high tackles and stuff when you're trying to make tackles and make contact. But they are, all six forwards that do have at any time in the field are good and they pose a serious threat when they carry the ball. For the last number of years, I'm, I'm very lucky to be a part of a successful underage group. And I think that carried into minor and 21s. And I suppose you can see the, the fruits of that in the senior team at the moment. The standards that have been set at senior level now is a lot different than they were even five, six, seven years ago. So I think when people do and younger fellas do come into the panel, they see that standard and it's up to them to meet that standard if they want to to be with a chance to get in place. They're a, a, a supremely fit, strong hurling team. They're really talented, um, some great players. And uh, look, we're, we're well aware of, of their um, experience and uh, of their talent. We just have to kind of focus on ourselves and try to get a performance out of ourselves. The attacking hurling is a exciting people and um, People are, are right to get excited by it, but um, I suppose it's just really down to the hard work on the training field since, I suppose, this time last year when we went back. There's, there's a lot of talented hurlers in the forwards and, and on, off the bench as well to make a big difference. They're working hard to get their scores and, and it's, it's showing at the moment. We have high expectations of ourselves and we feel that if we hit that level of performance that we expect and know we can hit, We'll be in a good opportunity to, to win this game, but nothing hectic will change. We'll focus on ourselves, get the, I suppose, the variables that we can control in order. And I think going back to that, if we perform, we'll be with a good chance. I'm doing final year uh, mechanical engineering and CIT. Um, I'm hoping to have a FYP uh, scratched off before the, the match, so I'll be busy up till then. I think one major present that all of us obviously are looking for is that all Ireland medal and that would make our Christmas, no doubt. Dear Santia, with shortlist. <laughs>